Hi friends, you are watching Gate Helpline and in this video we will see question number 25 from Gate's on 18 CS question paper. Friends, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get all the latest updates regarding Gate exam. So friends, now we will see question number 25. Question number 25 is from Computer Network. So friends, the question here is, consider a long lived TCP session with an end to end bandwidth of 1 Gbps. That is 10 raised to power 9 bits per second. The session starts with a sequence number of 1, 2, 3, 4. The minimum time in seconds rounded to the closest integer before the sequence number can be used again is dash. So friends, now we will see explanation to this question. But before starting the explanation, first of all, we will again see the question. So the question here is, consider a long lived TCP session with an end to end bandwidth of 1 Gbps. So friends, the bandwidth given is 1 Gbps, that is 10 raised to power 9 bits per second. The session starts with a sequence number of 1, 2, 3, 4. So friends, the session is starting with a sequence number of 1, 2, 3, 4. The minimum time in seconds rounded to the closest integer before this sequence number can be used again is dash. So friends, here we need to find the minimum time in seconds rounded to the closest integer before the sequence number can be used again. So friends, let's start the solution. So friends, TCP is a byte stream protocol and every byte is numbered using sequence number and every packet can loop around the internet for some period of time, which is lifetime of the packet. Therefore, to ensure that there are no conflicting sequence numbers, we need to find the wraparound time of the sequence number after which the number is used again. And friends, now this wraparound time should be greater than lifetime of the packet. That is, TWAT must be greater than TLT, where wraparound time is TWAT and lifetime of the packet is TLT. Next, we have 32 bits for sequence number field in the TCP header. So friends, given bandwidth is 10 raised to power 9 bits per second. And 10 raised to power 9 bits can be sent out in 1 second. That is the meaning of the bandwidth. And 2 raised to power 32 into 8 bits can be sent out in x seconds. TCP is byte stream. So friends, x will be 2 raised to power 32 into 8 upon 10 raised to power 9. So it will be 34.359 seconds. And since they have asked for the closest integer, Answer to this question is 34. So friends, as per our explanation, answer to this question is 34 seconds is the minimum time in seconds rounded to the closest integer before the sequence number can be used again. So friends, thanks for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share our videos to appreciate our work. If you have any doubt or question, please comment below.